Hey everybody, it's Steph Mischuk with KillerSites.com and KillerPHP.com. In this video blog, I want to talk about over-engineering of your projects. Or in other words, don't make your web uh, programming projects or your web design projects overly complex. Uh, this is a common mistake that we see with uh, nerds, whether they, whether they be uh, programmers or engineers or even website designers who decide they, they want a really complex, fancy design or structure to their site. It's a very big mistake because in the end you're going to have a mess that's much less manageable and you'll have a harder time finishing it in the first place. Uh, it goes back to um, uh, my days as a Java programmer back in the uh, late 90s and uh, early 2000s and Java uh, had become at that point ultra complex because of over and unnecessary engineering. It was a, a disaster really and it actually uh, this over engineering has added an uh, unneeded complexity that was found in the Java platform. Uh, just in case you don't know, Java is a programming language. Um, it became so complex that it uh, it made Java uh, very difficult to work with. Uh, if you were to adopt all the various tools and standards and technologies that the Java community was throwing out there, a lot of it was actually driven by uh, businesses, Java vendors, people were selling products uh, for the Java world. They were they were driving a lot of complexity so that they could sell you software tools and that would allow you to uh, manage this complexity. Uh, for instance, in Java, uh, the web framework, basically the equivalent to the PHP aspect of Java, because Java is much bigger than PHP. You see it in uh, cell phones, you see it for website development on the server, you see it in PDAs. It's really, uh, uh, it's quite a, uh, a it's, it's, it's a general purpose language, if you will. Um, anyway, in the Java web area, it just got super complex with all these different layers that they put on top of it and to get anything done you'd have to fill out you know, 10 XML files, well not 10, maybe 4 or 5 XML uh, files to sort of configure a project. It was just a stupid nightmare. So uh, that actually uh, got me to start really seriously looking at alternative uh, web application development platforms and I fell into PHP as a result because I was pretty happy about how streamlined and quick it was to write uh, PHP code versus Java code. But anyway, this is not a, uh, a Java versus PHP video, it's just a video stressing that you shouldn't over-engineer uh, your projects. You should, always, you should always strive to simplify uh, the structure of your projects, the structure of your code. This is the uh, one of the things that that separates the beginning or intermediate level programmer from the advanced programmer. The advanced programmer is always striving for simplicity. It reminds me of uh, so a blog post I wrote a few years ago, back in 2008 actually, and it was something that happened to me where our old forum at killersites.com was driven by an open source Java forum. Uh, written by uh, some people out in Asia, and it was a pretty good form, but it, it, it was a, it was overly complex again. And, and I'm not blaming these guys because that was just the uh, the, the culture at that time is just to add layer and layer of complexity to Java. It was crazy. Um, anyway, so I decided I wanted to give back to this open source project by throwing uh, the developers of this forum a gig. So I wanted to get some basic modifications done to the form, and then I would release it back to the public uh, as open source. Now, so I submitted my request. My requests for the form were quite simple. It's, it's, you, know, you know, add some buttons here and change some small behavior here and so on. 
it wasn't a big deal. I, I could have did it myself in a couple of days, but if, again, I wanted to throw him some work. Anyhow, long story short, I get back a, um, a quote, which was absolutely ridiculous, but indicative of the Java community's mindset at that time. And uh, for a very small project where a single guy could probably handle it uh, a few days, uh, they had budgeted in there a project manager. And they've given, and, and they assigned like, I think it was like eight hours of project management in the budget. It was, it was absolutely silly. Um, no, it wasn't, eight, it was like 16 hours of project management. Again, this is something I would have done personally just in like, you know, two, three days of work, you know, I forget the exact time, but it, it was ridiculous. But was the most ridiculous example was that in the, uh, in the quote that they threw back at me, they assigned uh, eight hours of testing to test a button. I swear to, not, I swear to God, was, I just wanted a, a, a link that would take me directly to a, uh, an admin editing uh, page on, in, in the forum. Again, it's been a while, so I forget the details, but it was really trivial. It was just a button you click, it, it takes you to a, a dynamic link, so it was not a big deal. And they budgeted in eight hours, eight hours of testing to test a button. So my blog post for, uh, was, uh, you know, for this particular story was, does it take eight hours to test a button? And of course the answer is no, it's absolutely uh, silly and ridiculous. So uh, yeah, that's the, uh, you know, an example of Java groupthink, academic groupthink where They've uh, tried to follow these standards and these protocols. They over-engineer everything, whether it be the actual software code itself. They over-engineer the process, you know, trying to impose uh, all these uh, methodologies. In, in this very simple, for a very simple task, you know. Yeah, so, you know, another old expression is, you know, you, know, you don't need a, uh, you know, Okay, it's not an expression, but you know, I used to tell people you, you don't need a uh, you know an eighteen wheel uh, semi to move a rocking chair, you know, and that was the problem with Java. And there was actually a movement against it later on. I spoke to this in the past, where the Java community itself got freaked out about how stupid it was becoming in terms of the complexity, and so uh, frameworks started coming out in the Java community. That was, you know, the big point of these frameworks was to simplify the process. The Spring framework comes to mind. And in fact, uh, much of the growth in Ruby, I believe, the Ruby programming language, was largely derived from uh, Java programmers you know, leaving the Java community because they couldn't take it anymore. And in fact, this started a snowball when O'Reilly Press published a book uh, by a prominent Java author. I forget the name of the book all of a sudden, but basically he was comparing Java versus Ruby. He was pushing Ruby. And anyway, long story short. Any, anyway, I still think PHP is overall the better solution for most people, especially if you're a web designer getting into wanting to learn how to build some dynamic sites. But uh, I won't talk about that here because I've talked about it in other videos. Anyway, don't over, don't over engineer things. Keep it simple, always strive to simplify your code base, the project structure, and even your design if you can. Ciao.